Hey, what is going on? It's your boy X. I want to add you all with a brand new video. And as you guys can see, we got a bunch of new throwback playoff moments that we got here. We have a diamond Colin Sexton, which is interesting because Colin Sexton hasn't played any playoff games, which is, you know, <laughs> is what it is. A pink diamond David Wesley, a opal Andrew Wiggins, opal Cedric Sabalos, and a opal Dave DeBusher, all of which could be pretty fun. But let's start off, obviously, with the diamond Colin Sexton. I don't know why I kept missing clicking it. But here we are with Colin Saxon, six foot one with a six seven wingspan. That's actually pretty good um, for our stats. We have a 95 shot three, nice and awesome there, and a 95 shot midi, which is great. Low shot IQ, but a good you know 90 free throw. We have the 95, a driving dunk, a good perimeter, but low interior defense, which I'm not exactly a massive fan of. But obviously we got good playmaking. He's a, he's a PG. That's what we're gonna have, and he's super quick, 98, and all of his speed. So looking pretty good there we have some nice finishing badges you know contact giant slayer we got pro touch you know we got quick draw we got range center bolt on hoff which is awesome we even have you know hot center and dead eye which is great for our playmaking ones honestly he's got all the key ones that we need you know handles for days ankle breaker quick for step tight handles unpluckable we got all that he's got clamps but at this point in the year he really doesn't have any sort of moving truck post move lockdown that's honestly pretty big at this point in the year just you know going against those taller pgs you kind of need it or else you're getting popped and backed down uh for his tendencies we have a really good on ball steal tendency of a 90 that's actually awesome but a low shot contest of only a 65 but that on ball steal tendency is going to be amazing um for we have jump shot 94 uh, i'm not even sure who else you know has jump shot 94 but let's uh Okay, I forgot. This isn't working right now, the uh, upper part of this. So we can't check out who else has jump shot 94, but interesting right there. And uh, some decent dribble six. Nothing crazy, but definitely not too bad. And actually has some pretty good dunking animations. So honestly, Colin Sexton it could be decent, but I'm really not holding out hope for it. But then again, he's a a card who hasn't even played in the playoffs and has a playoff moment so interesting there next up we have a pink diamond david wesley who is a shooting guard pg that is six foot with only a six three wings man yeah that, that's that's not a w as a 98 three point shot only a 92 midi no yeah he's got no dunking this card basically at this point if you are six foot and you can't dunk you're basically pointless um he's got a good perimeter but really no interior his speed is really good 95 and everything yeah, he can finish okay. Um, you know, if we're talking layups, he can't dunk at all. Um, but has gold contact, interesting. For our shooting, has all of those are amazing. The playmaking are good. You know, he's got clamps, he's got pick dodger again, no moving truck, no post and lockdown. And I really just don't think this uh, David Wesley is going to be all that. For our tendencies, we got really good shot contest and on ball right there. Even really good pass perception as well. For our signatures, he oh, he's got the D weight animations that gave him really good jump shots, but he, it's going to be like an Earl Boinkins you know, situation. He's going to be really good. You know, He's going to have good dribble six. He's going to be able to shoot it really quick. Um, even as the James Harden layup package. But my man's really can't dunk. So although he has that you know, D-Wade animation, it's just, yeah, he, he's he's not a card that you're really holding out hope for uh, being amazing. But next up, we have Galaxy Opal Andrew Wiggins, a card that has a potential 6'8". Um, with a seven full wingspan, that's pretty good. And ooh, the stats on Wiggins are looking nice. Okay, um, but the thing about Andrew Wiggins is he has jump shot 22. That's that. Um, oh, it'll let me look at it. Look at that. Jump shot 22 is um, the Jimmy Butler base, which is awesome. We can check that back on um, Colin Sexton. But has some decent, you know, dribbling animations. If we're being honest, and he has the dribble style slasher. Obviously, that's a good one. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of Andrew Wiggins when I used his pink diamond, so. There is that, but has a good long athlete layup package with some awesome dunking animations. We have an awesome, you know, 94 in both three point and middies, which is awesome. The dunking stats are great. He even has a bit of a post game as well with a nice little post hook. Really good playmaking there, besides the passing vision. And he's super quick, 97 in all the speeds. Has an 81 interior, that's actually pretty good. You got a guy with defensive leader on there that goes up to an 85, which is awesome. Got the nice perimeter defense, nice steal, nice block of a 91. That's actually super juiced up. Good rebounding. His finishing badges all are amazing, actually, all of them Hall of Fame as well, which is dope. Shooting badges, we got all of those, pretty clutch, really nice. Um, good playmaking ones and really good defensive ones. No moving truck, I wish he obviously had moving truck because he you was know, a small forward shooting guard. I feel like a lot of people are getting the ability to back down, 
you know, we just got a small forward Hakeem <laughs> that's insane in the post. So I feel like some of those badges like post of lockdown moving truck are really big. So that might hurt Andrew Wiggins a little bit, but could be a fun card. It's going to be similar to that of Jimmy Butler, but I do think slightly worse defense, but does have really good on ball um, steal tendencies, really good shot contest tendencies, really good pass perception tendencies as well. And it's a pretty decent animation. So this Opal Andrew Wiggins actually could be uh, pretty amazing. Uh, next up, we have Galaxy Opal Cedric Sabalos. This is somebody we have never had before. He got added um, on 2K MT Central in a little bit of a, uh, like, you know, one of those cards that isn't off, offline. You know, one of those guys. He got added there, so I was figuring we would get one eventually. And here we are, a six foot six small forward shooting guard isn't ideal, but at the two, I don't think he'll be too bad. We got 46 half even has a 93 shot three, good 93 shot mid as well. The dunking is insane. Pretty good post game as well, similar to that of Andrew Wiggins, but a little bit of higher post up, which is awesome. Great playmaking, awesome rebounding. The defense is great. And again, 85 interior, you've got a defensive leader guy. You can get that up to like an 89, which is super clutch, super nice. Super quick as well. Our finishing ones, we got all the good ones. You know, Giant Slayer, Pro Touch, Contact, Slithery, all the, you know, really good ones. We have every single shooting badge besides Deep Fades and Zeddy Shooter, which is perfectly fine. But it will mean, you know, with that naughty post fade, it's not going to feel too great because he doesn't have Deep Fades. But Hot Zone Hunter with all these Hot Zones is going to be gorgeous. And we have, you know, Ankle Breaker, Clamps, Quick First Step, Tight Handle, Rebound Chaser. And we also, we don't have Moving Chuck or Post Move Lockdown again. They're not, they're not shilling out to these guys, which is kind of tough. Um, the defensive tendencies are all kind of, you know, in the middle, nothing crazy. So it eh, might feel a little average, but does have the jump shot 10 animation, which is, um, the one that Bill Russell and, um, Penny Hardaway have. So not too bad for some people. It's nice. I think it's better as a catch and shoot jump shot than it is as an off dribble as the dribble style of a slasher and some decent animations. I think they're similar to that of, um, Wiggins. So could be interesting and has you know layups dunk packages we got circus can sometimes do a little too much but some really good dunk animations as well i think could be a bit of a sleeper card because you know we've never really had a really good cedric card before so it could be a little bit of a sleeper because people don't know the name and uh will be really fun but he was a beast on those uh old celtics teams and then last but not least we have galaxy able david debusher who's usually like a power forward um, but we got him as a small forward shooting guard. And the thing that's always amazing about Dave DeBosher cards is he usually has a really good jump shot and they give him the most juiced up stats ever because of how undersized he was. They usually juice up all of his stats to make him kind of like, I guess, playable at other positions. And they did it again this year. 50 all the fame badges, every single hot zone. We got the 91 shot three, the 95 shot midi. And look at this, man. The dunking and pose game is insane. Everything inside scoring is just absolutely wild for him. The post game, great. Dunking game is amazing. We've got a good ball handle and some great playmaking. You know, good 93 and all the speeds. A 98 interior and a 98 perimeter is amazing. The 98 steals great. 97 block as well and good rebounding. And then, I mean, come on. 50 Hall of Fame badges that just help out and everything doesn't have steady, which is great. And we have every single defensive slash rebounding badge on a Hall of Fame, which is beautiful. He's not going to get pupped at all, you know, at either of the positions, but I definitely would run him at the two. And we got the half quick job. We got half ranging center, which is beautiful. That's what we need for our tendencies. Oh my, these are some of the most gorgeous tendencies that you're going to see. We got 95 on the block shot, 95 on the contest shot, 95 on on ball steal, and 95 on pass perception. That is beautiful. That's exactly what you want. Have good dunking tendencies as well for our signature animations. We got jump shot 26, which is, okay, the Nick Young jump shot. Uh, same with Kevin Martin and Katino Mobley. I absolutely actually love that jump shot. I think it's going to be awesome. So, yeah, that's actually going to be pretty comp if we're being honest. We have the power dribble style, pro one size up, pro three moving cross. We have a long athlete layup package, some awesome dunking. And overall, I honestly think this Dave DeBosha card is probably the best that we've gotten today. Like, if we're really looking at it, he has some of the better, you know, dribbling animations, has some pretty good dunking animations, got a pretty nice jump shot as well. The stats are juiced up overall. Honestly, looking like a pretty good card. If I have to tell you guys which ones I think are worth picking up, I think all three of the Opals have potentially pretty good. Um, I think Dave DeBusher is the best card that we got today. Andrew Wiggins probably being the second. And then we got Cedric Sabalos in third. Um... David Wesley and Colin Saxon, I really just wouldn't recommend picking up. You know, Wesley, six foot guy, can't dunk. <laughs> Even though he has the D Wade, you know, jumper, really just don't think he's going to be all that. And Sexton, he just, yeah, he just didn't, 
He doesn't jump out to me. Six foot one guy, just not really something that I'm looking for. Let me know what you guys think about these cards down in the comment section below. Which ones you guys are hyped for seeing and which ones you guys want me to do a gameplay with. I will make sure to get those out. Probably going to try to pick up the Busher, Sabalos, and Wiggins, but we'll have to see. Like if you guys did enjoy, subscribe if you guys are new on that road to 6.8k. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next video.